have found more open waters. You did very well, Joseph. Thank you. All the massive dead bodies. This is actually one of the cooler sequences in the game. I remember when they showed this sequence off, and it first uh, really came out uh, within the series. It, it, I don't know what everyone was expecting with Resistance 3. I know I wasn't. Once they killed uh, Nathan Hale, I wasn't actually sure where they were going to go with it. Um, it felt like it could have been a, a lot of ways they could have gone with it, and I enjoyed the fact that they kept a character that you knew. And he wasn't actually a character that you liked. Um, like, in the second game, I, I know a lot of people who, like I said, were very upset. Uh, because of this carrier character. So the drones really change, and I like the fact that the Chimera aren't just, like, mindless creatures here. They do have technology, and incredibly... Uh, a far more advanced technology and it's one of those things where you don't like for what they are you don't see that and I enjoy the fact that even though they're drones or anything like that that they still show uh, they still show that they are you know you know there's something just not mindless about them it's they have other things with them Love this weapon. It just sounds so satisfying. Sound design in games is something that has become a very, very strong component. Like, it's not... As much as, like, you want it to be like, oh, you know, what have you, you can have ass sounds. When you have a, a bad sound, especially like a primary sound, like a weapon firing, it doesn't sound right or it doesn't sound good, especially for what it is you're holding or anything like that, it does detract from that level of immersion that I think these games do so well, and I think that games are trying to really hit on nowadays. It appears we have found the river. According to my map, we are now on the Mississippi. The city of St. Louis should be close. We will stop there and look for supplies. Now, one of the things here that I wish the game would have done well is I wish the boat would be rocking more than it is. Like, there, it's like, okay, you're really close to it, and it, it does that so well, but that one would do some damage to us. See here, and I, I, one of my things was, if they probably would have sat here, they'd probably been okay. That is just... And it's one of those things where you wonder if they do a biomechanical part with it, or if it is just a... Um, if it's just a robot. And you hear that charge up, so like that's how one of those things. Like, okay, now you know it knows where we are, um, and that is catastrophic. And the fact that it's slow, it's lumbering in its turn, and they do move uh, slow, especially when you have to fight like a stalker at other points, especially in the first two games, um, and how much faster they are. We must outrun 
Let's grab that. Let's get ready. This is this is definitely one of those points in the game where I think they did a great job at just showing how frantic things can be. I think that was a trophy back in the day was like you have to, like, send Santa and the reindeer flying. And it's it's a relatively uh, challenging trophy to hit. Um, thankfully, like, this time around in the game, like, when I first played through this, I wasn't always sure uh, what I should have focused on. And now, like, now that I'm a little bit older and I've played through these games a fuck ton, I'm like, oh, yeah, do this. Like, don't... You, we can get away with, like, some of this, like, but don't. Alright, there we go. I think there was a guy back here. Just took his head off. Let's grab some health. And this is not the weapon that they tell you you should use for this. Um, and this is one of the other features in this game. So now this is more like the... Uh, weapon was in Resistance 2, which is a more of a more of a sniper rifle, that battle rifle feel. It does have it does have like that three round burst, bit of a scope on it. I'm glad that like I think that actually it's limited uses on the hardest difficulty, and that makes this level uh, incredibly challenging. Especially compared to uh, other parts of the game and how it, it does play out. So, let's see if I can't pick up, call up more of these guys. Uh, ah! Nope. I died. I died. I died. <sighs> oh, there's that first death. I'm try I'll try not to die as much in this game, guys. Um, in the first game, they actually had, like, finishers they would do to you. Uh, where they would, like, just straight up, like, almost curb stomp your ass. And it could make for a very, very frustrating first game experience when you were playing this. Luckily, it's a little bit more forgiving a little bit later on now in the series. Alright, we're gonna get away from this. Good news is this shoots through people, so I'm actually much more capable of uh, defending myself. And if I'm not mistaken, where are you guys? Are you guys still back there? I don't see them. Alright, let's get ready then. Sometimes it's nice just to, you know, defend yourself with a, a nice shield. Alright, let's let's be smart now. God, this gets tense. This does a very good job at making this feel uh, a lot more frantic than other parts of the game have. Like other parts you're like, oh, you're being attacked. I know I'm being attacked. But in this part, it is very much the boat's falling apart. Uh, as you can see, like, half the boat is no longer here. Good 
And then it's just like, okay, here's another Goliath. Here's a second Goliath. And it's like, you've, you've seen three of these things so far, and in the first game, there were only like one or two. So the fact that they're throwing them at you now is just a great point of going like, oh, this is this is what it's come to. Like, it, it, these aren't far and few between. This isn't like, oh, this is their end strategy. This is now what they can just do to you. Um, and that's compared to the first game where they talked about when the Goliaths got into striking distance, they launched the spires, convert, turned you into conversion centers. And that was it. That was how they they ended a battle with humans. And the second game, you fight one, and that's how they kind of, like, use their invading force uh, when they were attacking you. And now they're just roaming, like, looking for what you like what a human could be doing they can just hunt you down and snuff you out using those all right and this is where we're gonna end this one winner so if you guys enjoy this please don't forget to like comment subscribe follow us on facebook twitter and instagram as always please remember you're all winners out there keep it weird have a good day everybody